I'm David the Bruce, and this is part four of Sheena, the early television show from the early 1950s starring Irish McCullough. I, I can't overemphasize how important this series is, not only for a show that was on in the early 50s, but also in the uh, Jungle Queen genre. Yeah, it, it's just quintessential. You can't get around it. It didn't last very long on television. It was hard to get sponsors back then for shows such as this. This had a very powerful whim, woman in it. She wasn't married. She didn't have children, but she was a powerful woman. And in the early 50s, the very conservative, woman-repressed era, where women belong in the home with the washing and the, and the sewing and the diapers and all that, here was Irish McCullough in the jungles, tackling the jungles, bringing down white guys that wanted to exploit natives and animals. She was the hero. She was the Amazon. Well, in that era, you just didn't do that. It was like something that was taboo, so it was hard to get a sponsor for her. But in the brief time that she was on the series, uh, she made such an impact on the culture, it survived, and it still survives to this day. As a matter of fact, it wasn't until she was in her 60s, she did this in her early 30s, but in her 60s, when she finally went to a comic con, and um, she, she, she came in her uh, fake leopard skits, and to do signings, oh, she was mobbed, man. The fans remembered her, the original Sheena, yeah. And, uh, you know, there was even a comic book series done on Sheena, uh, long-lasting, too. Um, I don't know. You, it, that's why I say she's so important to the genre, so important. And even though uh, out of her entire modeling and uh, 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 film and painting career. She's most remembered for Sheena, which lasted just about a, a year and a half. That's it. And then it was gone. Sometimes things in your life define who you are always. And that is true of Irish McCullough. She defined that Amazon, that strong woman, mm, that character, I can do it. Um, matter of fact, do you know what her, her uh, main line was in this series? You, stay here. <laughs> she, just, she just took charge. She was just going to do it. And she did every time. So the early 50s weren't ready for her. But she left an impression on women, especially young women, that if there's a jungle to be tackled, if there's a, an evil to be brought down, they can do it. They can succeed at life. They can be good at what it is they need to do. All right, that's enough. I'm David the Bruce. Let's get on with it. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle.
Hello, Lewis. Well, if it isn't great white hunter himself, what brings you around here? Looking for you. Am I supposed to feel honored? I'm doing a favor for the commissioner. And you. What's the matter? What's the delay? You Dr. Mitchell Heller? Yes. Yeah. Doctor, as a safety precaution, all safaris entering the interior customarily file a report with the commissioner, detailing its route, destination, purpose of trip, and anticipated return date. Evidently, Mr. Lewis forgot to file his report. We didn't forget. I don't understand. Where we're going is nobody's business but our own. You realize that Lewis is not an accredited jungle guide? But I know Mr. Lewis in fish swings. This is much like her to. You must realize he's the last man in the world that trusts a guide through some of the most dangerous jungle in Africa. I don't know who you are, sir, but if I want to go into the interior, it's my own business. Move on, Lewis. You're the man, Rayburn. Okay. But if I know the commissioner, he'll order your safari stopped as soon as I report back to him. Listen, Rayburn. I've got a good thing here. If you mess it up, you won't even live to regret it. Is that a threat? No, not a threat. A promise. Be sure of one thing. I'm filing my report with the commissioner. If you have nothing to hide, why worry? Just remember what I told you. And I always keep my promises. like real trouble. Bob send message to Commissioner. But quick. I'll have Zuna send a drum message from back at camp. Sheena, go with you. Good. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Sheena, sorry. Please forgive Sheena. that he's going to have the granddaddy of all belly aches. <laughs> Police come to relay message. Yes, I have to send it. It's up to the commissioner now. Are you Bob Raven? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm Sylvia Heller, Mitchell Heller's daughter. I want you to guide me into the jungle to find my father and... and stop him. And stop him before he's murdered. Thank you. You must be Sheena. I've heard of you. You should have stopped to rest. That sounds pretty rough. I can't rest. You don't know this man, Lewis. I'm afraid I do, Miss Heller. What kind of a hook has he baited for your father? 
A fantastic story of some tribe that knows the secret to long life. They're supposed to live for hundreds of years because of some mysterious food they eat or drink. Elders of the temple. Everybody knows the story. It's just a jungle myth. Your father think Louis taken to see elders of the temple? He believes them all right. A hundred thousand dollars worth. My father has dedicated his life to medicine. He's one of the finest doctors in the country. But a few years ago, he realized that he was getting old, and that in spite of his vast knowledge of medicine, he could do nothing to prevent it. The thought of the long life has become an obsession with him. He's not himself. Nobody can reason with him. Then Lewis came along and sold him a bill of goods about the elders of the temple myth. Yes. My father is a very rich man. He would spend millions to find the secret to long life. Why do you think Lewis tried to kill your father? Because, well, I found out that my father had agreed that even if he were to accidentally die on the safari, Lewis would at least half the money. I've hired investigators to check on Lewis. He's capable of anything. You've got to help me find them before Lewis murders my father. But I don't know where the elders of the temple live, or even if they actually exist. She didn't know. You do? Then will you help me find my father? She didn't take you there. You go too? Wait till I get the things. Thank you. Father, we have to go. A couple of days, no more. A week ago was a couple of days. Three days ago was a couple of days. And now it's still a couple of days. This is the no hell, and not Route 66 back in the States. Either by tomorrow we get to that temple or I'll turn back. Where does that leave me? If we don't get to the temple, no place. That's our agreement. Our agreement also says that I have to be paid $50,000 if you die on the way. Well, I don't bluff easy. Night. Bob follow on trail. What about you? She didn't go through trees. Move faster that way. Do you think we're close to them? Maybe fine tonight. Hurry. of this attack. Your daughter worried about you. Come to look for you. My daughter? Here in Africa? She heard bad things about him. Come to warn you. Very touching. If you want to get to the Temple of the Elders, you can do so now. Now? I don't follow you, Louis. Simple. If anyone knows where the Temple of the Elders is, it's Gina. 
Sheena know? Did Sheena not tell? <laughs> got to. Nega stole a tumba. Zuko, take it. Nega stole Marking a trail for us to follow. Keep your eyes open from now on. Perhaps something terrible has happened to Father. Don't worry about your father. She knows see that nothing happens to him. Sheena wouldn't have left her knife. Slam. At last I live to see my goal. Take it easy. The elders of the temple may not like the idea of having a barge in this way. Sheena, show you where. Sheena, go. Just wait a moment. We may still need you. You never think you not keep promise. That old fool running off like that. Go, Jim! Run! Whoa! You men stay here and wait for us. Thank you. 
to me, we wouldn't be in this thing. I'm Dr. Mitchell Heller of the United States. I've heard you people discovered the secret of long life, and I want that secret. And I can't pay for it. Any amount of money you want. Secret? Not for sale. Then we will have it by force if necessary. You have come to us unbidden. Take them away while I and my wife Miriam decide what is to be done.
Before you pass judgment, hear me out. First, you must know that Sheena was forced to show these men the way to your holy temple. This man is obsessed with the idea of long life. Before this strange malady took possession of him, he helped mankind. And he will again, if you'll let him go. As for this man, if you'll let him go, I promise you he will never again return to molest you or your people. All this high and mighty talk. Get back! Now give me that jug! Be quick about it! Get back. Get back, both of you! No. Sheena brings this trouble to your temple. Sheena will return your treasure to you. Never to return again. I realize how obsessed I was by the idea of long life. But I know now that life is not measured in years, but in deeds. Father, I'm so glad to hear you talk like that again. Well, let's go. Hey, where's Chill? Who is to say, Chill? Does not belong with my wise men. Come, Jim.
Who are you to give orders? Bacon. Bacon, I told you about it. Yes, Raven said a lot of nice things about you. Man break law, Bob. Try to trap a copy. You know a copy's out of season, Bacon. Raven, you're working for me. What I trapped my own business. You'll obey the law or answer to the commissioner. Well, we won't get anywhere fighting each other. How about breaking out with some lunch? All right. You'll join us, Miss Tina. Tina, not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Your little friend seems to be. All right. <laughs> Say, that's a pretty smart mug you got there. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. <laughs> Losing that Okapi cost me a thousand dollars. He not glad. The commissioner had to put a stop to trapping Okapis, Dakin. They're getting scarce. Don't I know it? Zoos and circuses are clamoring for them all over the world. I don't like cutting corners like this, Rayburn. But I won't pay expenses on this trip unless something turns up soon. I've heard natives talk about a white hippo. There is one? Well, if I can get a hold of that, I... Save your breath, Dakin. You can't. Why? White hippo is sacred animal to the wanna tribe. He cuts die. That takes care of that. I don't want to tangle with the sabuanas, not for all the tea in China. This safari can still pay off with your help. Oh, the monk. Jim, I'll pay you for him. He'd be worth a fortune in any circus train the way he is. Tina, sell Jim to me. <laughs> Tina, go now. I'll give her a good price. It's out of the question, Bacon. We'd better drop the whole matter. Tina, love you, Jim. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry I offended. I didn't realize the little fellow meant so much to you. Here's a peace offering for both of you. <laughs> it's a peace offering. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. Malky, you got the two separated. Yes, Buana. Buana Bob, he climbed hill, look for zebra like you say. And Sheena? Sheena at her house. Is the monk with her? Shem always was seen a bueno. Good mouthy. You know what to do. Wake up, Shem. Eat and sleep. Sleep and eat. Hey! Get up! Mouthy make noise like elephants. Bueno, Bob. Bueno, Bob. Quick, Sam. By river. He wasn't here. He was mistaken. I leave Jim with Malky. He lied. Jim! 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 Jim's gone. And I think I know who's got him. Why, <laughs> better we go faster. What are you worried about? 
Bonner Park and see it gets very bad for Mountain. They won't catch it. What you do, Bonner? You'll see. This looks like a good place for it. Bucky, tell the men to wait and you bring me my old shotgun. Boom! Dakin's cleared out. He's smart. Men carry that way. We've got to stop Dakin before he reaches the coast. Oh, quick. That's right, Malky. Tie it back. Again. Another resting place. Too soon. Too not that heavy. Well, the more stops they make, the better for us. Bob! Bob. They may shoot again. Man, not you. Trap. Trap? I could only get... No, no, danger to touch. Trebona tried to kill you. I'll settle for the monk. 
Bad stuff. He didn't travel fast. So the lead in that shotgun. Relax. Tawana tribe, we steal Kim. Tina, follow. Come on, Tina. They're both still alive? Here, run. Tawana. When I tell the commissioner... You steal. You will be punished. I stole nothing, I tell you. Him belongs Tina. Tina, friend of Tawana tribe. From, say you steal. And you believe that? Tina, no lie. Tina sold me that monk. I gave her a costly necklace for him. She wanted to sell me another animal, too. Tina only have Jim. A hippo. A white hippo, she said. Tava? Tava, sacred animal of Tawana tribe. She said I could have him for this. The same kind of a necklace she took for the chip. No, not true. It is true. I said nothing doing. I didn't want to offend the Tawana tribe. That made her mad. This is her revenge. No. She's not friend. Tawana! Tawana, great chief, catch bad man. She can never forget. You see, Lubana? There's the necklace. Just like this one. Don Abando. Lubana, sorry, you no lie. Take Tim. Go. Sure thing, Lubana. I'll tell the commissioner you're a great and honorable chief. All right, boys, we move. <laughs> Tovana, Tina, friend, why you treat like enemy? You don't know, friend. Try to sell this Taba. He say that? Wanna speak truth? You sell Tim for this. Tina, no more friend. Tina, die. Man lie, he steal Jim, like drum say. You be drum? No, Garmo. i bring Garmo here soon. You believe Garmo? Garmo speak. Tubana believe. We wait. <laughs> We've got a lot of ground to cover. Water! Water! Jim! <laughs> He's not worth a pet to me yet! Get on up after you! Get the net. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then you know truth. Lubana believe only Gamo. Gina! What happened? Where Gamo? Gamo is dead, Lubana. Parabando! Do. Make drink of death, or all would harm the whitey Sava. It's not the cross here, then we can land it. We meet again. Thank you for capturing my chimp. Your chimp? That's right. I bought him. Stole him, you mean. Stop. Only one way to tell who lie. What do you mean? Test of truth. They all are. They do need. What is this? Who tell truth live. Who not tell truth die. Look here, you can't.
You're not going through with it. Tina, not afraid. Tina, tell truth. I can't let you. I'll take the test. Which doctor decides? No worry, Bob. Only lie or die. Raven, what is this? There will be four bowls. One of them contains poison. The others are harmless. You and Tina will drink alternately. This is ridiculous. I won't do it. If you don't, they'll know you're lying and they'll kill you. That's ready. Man, choose. That of your own fear, Dakin. I'll take him to the commissioner for punishment. He's right. Baratana.
someone come. What was it? Two warriors come this way. Anything suspicious about them? One carry elephant tusks. I finally what I've been looking for. How near are they, Sheena? They'd be here soon. Good. We'll question them. Do not hurt men, Bob. I won't. The market is being flooded with contraband ivory, Sheena. It's the government hunting law. I drop that spear and... Here, take this ivory. If I hadn't stopped them, they'd still be alive. I must have the touch of death or something. Man, lie. No rogue elephants this part of jungle. Well, we'll get no more information from them. Headdress, we knew this ride. We knew this? Where's their village? After we bury them, Tina, take you there. All right. What is it, Tina? Here's something. Over there. Nothing there now. Dunty, bring the pack. Sorry, great man of medicine. Will magic water make my son well? The sickness of the never-ending sleep cannot be cured for many moons. But this magic water will keep Zabim alive. Yes. You may see your son later, Targo. Not now. Time to wake up, Junior. Oh, it's you, Goma. Big trouble, Great One. Donga, Anu, men you sent to Brandisi with ivory. They dead. Dead? Who killed them? Simba, lion. Chief Tago will supply other men. 
Did you bring back the ivory? White man and Sheena find first. They question Danga before he dies. What did Danga say? What you told him to say, rogue elephant. Then there's nothing to worry about. Sheena and white man on way here. It won't take much snooping for this fellow to find out there's nothing wrong with the chief's son. That'll be curtains for me. When Danga die, white man with Sheena said, maybe he have touch of death. Touch of death, that's it. You help me now, Guma. When I leave here, I'll show you how my magic works. Guma, do whatever you say. You must tell Tago there's a white man coming here who has the touch of death. This man's presence means terrible danger to Tago's son. Do you understand? Yes, great one. Don't say you've seen the man. Show your bones. Then describe him like an evil spirit. I'll do the rest. Better get started. We have much time. Hey, wait a minute. When the man and that Sheena arrive, throw this on the fire. It will help convince Tago your vision's true. Long time. Why Togo unfriendly now? Togo, Sheena, still friends. But man, taboo. He not harm you. He want to ask you about ivory. Men who carry tusks where we knew the tribesmen. Tusk from rogue elephant. Do not tell truth, Togo. Maybe your son tells you. Where is Zabin? Zabin speak. He cannot speak. Sheena, go see. Stay out. Zabim is extremely ill. In fact, he's just become worse. What's wrong with him? Sleeping sickness. Just who are you? My name's Crenshaw. I'm a doctor. Of what organization? No organization. License? Of course. That can be easily checked. Suppose you answer a few questions. What's your business? I'm here on behalf of the government. Tago, your tribesmen didn't get that tusk from a rogue elephant. This is a wild game preserve, and the killing of animals here is forbidden by law. If the Winooses had the tusk, why didn't you arrest them? Unfortunately, they're dead. As the bone said, who's the fear? Who's the fear? Who's the fear? No, Bob. Tago, once you were a good man. Now you lie and threaten. Why? Man taboo. Sino and man leave village. to show them what the touch of death really is.
We'll camp here while we decide what to do next. What did that witch doctor keep yelling while he pointed at me? He say you man with touch of death. You say same thing when lying kill men with touch. That's right. And somebody must have heard me say it. The question is, who was it? Witch doctor, maybe? No, oh, that's why I'm taboo. When Toggle tell lie about Ivory, he not look at him. He not want to lie. Well, he's the chief who could force him. Man who call himself doctor. That could be it. Except he's no more a doctor than I am. Toggle not lie about sickness of son. That means Zabim in danger. Where are you going? To hut, see Zabim. That's taboo if you're caught. Bob Wright. We go in early morning when tribe goes to river for water. anything? Skeena and White Man plan to come back to see Zabin. I thought so. Did you say when? When tribe go to river in the morning. Was the old man who takes care of Zabim's monkey awake when you came in? Good, because in a minute... Tato! Tato! Boba! Tato! No need to hurry. Be sure you tell Tago the old man was alert and awake when you passed Simpo's cage. What is it, Tago? What's the matter? Simpo belonged to my son. I guard all times. No one go near cage. He speak truth, Tago. Go myself. I saw too from the hut. He was awake and doing his duty. Who touched the monkey just before he went to his cage? Man with a touch of death. Nobody on guard.
I can't outrun them, Tina. You go on. I'll hold them as long as I can. Tina, come back. And God burns overhead that my Zabim shall live. Say no, From hut, not been Harry Kim. Zabim not have sleeping sickness. Tina have proof. It's no use, Tina. I've tried to tell him at Crenshaw's a quack. He won't even listen. Look at Tim. Him sleep like Zabim? Tina, right? Tim sleep? Tim take pills he steal from his medicine bag. It's a lie, Togo. It's a trick to save our friend. Tina not lie. If Zabim not have sleeping sickness, Tina can wake him up? Tina try. When shadow or spear touch Tina's friend, Dobby must be awake. If not, then die. Yours.
nothing. Please wait. Now you kill. I meant to hit him. Look! Stop him. Him. Give me medicine to make me stronger. Put medicine. Put me to sleep. Stop. No harm. Just put him under guard, Targo. The district commissioner will see that he gets everything that's coming to him. Take him. You not need Sheena anymore now. No, Sheena. Thank you. Targo sorry, Sheena. Targo afraid for Zabin. Targo should know. When you fear enemy, you give him power. Take him to the hut and hold him. Targo never fear again, Sheena. Jim. Where's Jim? <laughs> Jim's awake. You won't have to carry him now. Tina don't mind carrying Jim. Him more trouble went away. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
Sand bath all right for elephants, but Jim used water. You went through here. Make you wish you'd never been born. Run up! Here! Fresh trail! Hey, boy! If you see him, shoot! Shoot at anything that moves! He must be working his way to the Ascari village. You three run on ahead and, and cut him off. We'll box him in. She left her. She would have seen. That was seen her, you fool. I can't afford to have trouble with her. Madonna! Who was saying? I've waited long enough. Let's get on with it. Of course, this is no time to bother Mr. Chester. Can it be postponed? Not my fault the chief picked this time to die. They'd pay their taxes as the law requires. I wouldn't be here. Yes, it must be such an inconvenience for you. You needn't be sarcastic, Mr. Rayburn. I merely serve Her Majesty's government. If Her Majesty knew how you served, you'd be thrown out on your ear. Why don't you just concentrate on being a guide? Kimo was a great chief, Lodo. My heart goes out to your people. The Scary tribe no Buana Bobby's friend. If you've finished with the amenities, I have some business. I'm Her Majesty's tax agent. I've come to collect your annual taxes. We are already paid. Do you think the government provides roads and game preserves and medical facilities for nothing? Don't you lie to me. Lotto isn't a liar. Stories are an honorable people. Then let the old beggar produce a receipt. A receipt, Loto. A piece of paper from the great waters in Nairobi. Satisfied, Rayburn. You'd better get some trade goods downriver quickly so you can pay. We are already paid. Don't shoot. Keep your hand down. I don't want to hear any more of this. Well, I do. What makes you so certain the tax has been paid, Lotus? 
Montu take trade goods to Nairobi one month ago. Montu? Kimo's son. He'll be the new chief. Where is Montu? Me not know. Montu not come back. Oh, and he won't be back for a long time. What do you know about it? If Mantu had the money, he spent it on himself having a wild time in Nairobi. So wild that he got himself arrested for attempted murder. He's been sentenced to the penal camp for five years. Mr. Chester works for the great Buenos Loto. He must know. <laughs> your people return from the burial ground, we'll take a little inventory of your trade goods. Mantu didn't get this far. Stop. He's a constabulary surrounding some sort of a rogue animal. They'd be using drums and beaters if they were after a rogue. Must be a man then. Probably another one of your people breaking the law. I'll have a look, Lodo. You needn't come. Tax collectors aren't very popular. You don't think I'm going to stay here alone, do you? Suit yourself. I say, aren't those constabulary guards? They're from the penal colony. Must be an escaped convict. Are you crazy? That man was unarmed. Oh, no, and that's an escaped convict. Give me that. I'm Joe Garth, warden of the penal camp. I was shooting at the man you're after until he stopped me. The man wasn't armed, warden. Armed or not, he's a murderous savage. His name is Mantu. If he gets to his tribe, he'll stir things up. <laughs> Why you hunt Mantu? He's an escaped prisoner. He jumped me outside of the prison mess hall last night and crashed out. He tried to kill me. He thought she was a leopard. Looks like you're all a little trigger happy. He's a potential killer, and I intend to get him first. <laughs> You blew the whistle, you fool! Hold it, Garth! Take it easy. You'd better send some of your men to the village. Left to it, you three. And remember, shoot on sight and shoot to kill. <laughs> you men, follow me. Garth. Mind if Sheen and I come with you? Why? It's no skin off your nose. You afraid we might find Montu alive? We're coming whether you like it or not. Right on your heels. Watch it. No. She must stay here. You go. Watch.
Whatever you're up to, be careful. hundred yards apart. This is no way to run him down. All right, Garth. But we take him alive. Naturally. Now. He's wounded. He can't go far. If he's got a gun, you might run right into it. Just sit tight. You'll be all right. Let's go. mighty concerned about this escaped convict. Almost as concerned as Warden Garth is. It's a matter of government concern. I am a civil servant, you know. Servant? You've been acting more like a master. Hold it. It was Mantu. It's a justifiable homicide. We'll let the courts decide that. In the meantime, I'm keeping your rifle. Help you. Six moons. No. 
Put down gun, Monty. Put down gun, now. Is that right? Lie still. No. One on God. Come. Kill me. Wound is bad, Monty. I must go my village. Tell my father. Monty. Your father died last night. Then, Montu is chief now. I must go my people. No, Montu. You outlaw now. Wanna judge send you to prison. Montu never see Bana judge. But you ran from prison camp. Yes. Never see Bana judge. Bana guard. Raw Montu. Beat Montu. Take Montu to prison camp at night. Is it true? I must carry. Can you not lie? I can't believe you. Stay here. Wait. get this far with a fool in him. An Ascari warrior doesn't get up easily. And he's a chief's son. He's a wild animal. What's that? She has lean to. Have you seen Mantu? If you know where he is, you'd better tell. He's broken the law. Who says so? I do. Want a judge in Nairobi say so, too? <clears throat> we lost this trail a couple of times, but it led us to here. Yes. He takes food, drink water. Where is he? Can you trail him for us? You not kill him? No. Not if he surrenders. Oh, I'd take him back to the camp. Come. I can't picture a wounded man holding up to this. Are you sure we're on the right trail? She's making a fool of you. What are you trying to do, Shina? You are tracking mine, too. You've been trading a leopard spore ever since we left your lean to. Yes. You're stalling. Are you trying to give Montu a chance to escape? No. Let's keep going. You're circling back. Why? You give time for answer. Answer? Answer to what? You're going to get rid of them. When she finds Mantu, we've got to get the three of them together. Why did you let Mantu escape? You should have killed him as soon as you got him to the camp. I had to make it look good to the guards. Are you two coming or not? We knew Mantu not do wrong. We all know, thanks to Sheena. You men are on the microphone now. Your new chief will be home shortly. 
How do we get to Sheena? Best way by foot trail. All right, lead on. Ajamaka. What is it? What's it about? Now she can take you to Monday. I told you she was making a fool of you. What kind of a trick is this? No trick. You say take you to Montu. Montu is here. This is it. Stop that. And you, put down those rifles. What is this? Wait. Montu was sure man too. Don't move. He's not there. This is the last time you'll fool me. Nancy! Come on! Hurry up! He's shooting me, me murder! Mantu still have no friends. Kari village is open to Sina always. You're shooting a fest that was justified those kids, Mantu. The constabulary will pick him up in a few weeks when he is able to travel to face trial. <laughs> what a setup. Just to being a tax agent knew why Montu was in Nairobi. Yes. He and Garth took the money. Put Montu out of circulation by throwing him in jail in the false charges. And then Chester came up here again to collect the taxes. Officially this time. And they had the gall to call themselves public servants. Well, I'm afraid Goss will discover that Her Majesty's government takes a very dim view of this kind of service. Good for her. Good for who? Her Majesty's government. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor crown Mantu, Mantu crown Kim, Kim crown God. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter cold Nebraska winters and an alcoholic father were not situations that Irish McCalla enjoyed. As soon as she graduated from high school at 17, she made her way to sunny Southern California, where two of her sisters and oldest brother Bill had already ventured. She found a lovely boarding house in Santa Monica, not too far from her siblings, and a job as a waitress. Which was good. Because you eat right away, and the tips helped financially. 
In her off time, she frolicked on the Malibu beach. And with her 5 foot 10 inch height and a 39 24 36 figure, she was quite the head turner. And it seemed like in no time that she was the top model for men's magazine. But modeling was not her goal. She set her heart on being an artist. She enrolled in the Otis College of Art and Design in Los Angeles, where the famous Norman Rockwell was artist in residence. She was a serious art student. And even as a young girl, Irish was interested in music, dance, and especially painting. When she was just 14, she exhibited her first watercolor in an exhibit at the Jocelyn Museum in Nebraska. She was born Nellie Elizabeth McCalla on Christmas Day in 1928 to an Irish Catholic family. Which, of course, is where she got her nickname Irish. Being a painter was the direction she wanted to go. But life, however, sometimes leads you down paths you least expect. Following waitressing, she began working the night shift at the McDonnell Douglas factory, freeing her days to supplement her income by modeling. She was just 18, and her Amazonian figure began showing up in all sorts of men's magazines. As one publisher remarked, Irish and Betty Page were perhaps the first figure models to become stars simply by displaying their curves for the camera. Her big modeling moment came when Irish met the acclaimed pin-up artist Alberto Vargas at a Miss California Beauty contest that she had entered. He asked her to pose, and she did, becoming a Vargas girl, the generic term used to describe his rendered images of perfect women. She said that he showed her how he painted, which was helpful to her main artistic interests. It was in 1951 that she met and married her first husband, Patrick McIntyre. They had two sons. Just before giving birth, she was active as a chorus girl in Las Vegas. Then in the mid-50s came the moment that would change everything for her and pop culture. Simultaneously, while throwing a bamboo spear on a Malibu beach, a movie agent spotted her. She was quickly signed, and it was off to Mexico for six months to film the TV series Sheena. The production company knew they had the perfect Amazonian woman for the role. She could even throw spears. The Sheena series ran from 1955 to 1956, and then in syndication, the 26 episodes ran for years. It was a great success. No steel coming against law. She appeared in five films, Hands of a Stranger, 1962, Five Bold Women, 1960, Five Gates to Hell and the Beat Generation, 1959, and the horror cult classic She Demons, 1958. She also appeared in TV shows including 77 Sunset Strip, Have Gun Will Travel, You Bet Your Life, The Tonight Show and several others. It was a fantastic accomplishment from 1955 to 1963, just eight years. Leaving Hollywood, she picked up her art brush and continued to do what she preferred doing and that is paint. My subject matter is as varied as everything else I do. I paint in oil, watercolors, and pastels. I enjoy painting nudes, seascapes, landscapes, Indian portraits, and mountain men. Whatever I'm doing at the time seems to be my favorite subject. Living and showing my work in Arizona, I tend to have a greater call for Western art, but my paintings of children and nudes are also in good demand. Even Pat Nixon, the wife of the president, purchased one of Irish's seascape paintings. Paintings by Irish McCalla can be found in the Los Angeles Museum of Arts and Sciences and the Cowboy Hall of Fame. She passed away in 2002 from a stroke and complications from her fourth brain tumor. She will always be remembered as that strong independent Amazonian woman, Sheena Queen of the Jungle. The kind of woman that genuinely impacted culture for the better. <laughs>